Amazon recently made Code Whisperer free and available through an AWS account. If you're already using GitHub's Copilot, you might be wondering how Code Whisperer compares to that. Today, I want to show you how both work when given the same tasks and my impressions while using them. I'll do three tests going from easiest to hardest. Let's start with the easy test. I just set up a brand new Next.js project and need the AI to generate the basic HTML for my layout. I've added a comment describing what I need, so hopefully the AI can generate it correctly. The first one to be tested is Copilot. Let's see how it goes. I noticed that AIs usually do a better job with styling when they work with Tailwind compared to regular CSS. Copilot is already done. Let's open the page and see how it did. It seems like it nailed it. If we check the sidebar's width, we'll see that it is 288 pixels instead of 280. That's most probably because it's using the default sizing classes from Tailwind, so it just used the closest one. I've now disabled Copilot and enabled Code Whisperer. Let's see how it goes. We can see it got a bit lost. It's trying to use the metadata constant that we exported on the page. It's repeating the same line, so I'll try to help by closing the parent tag. At this point, I realized that it had lost its way, so I decided to clear it all and try again. I don't really like the fact that Code Whisperer closes all its tags when it generates them, meaning you always end up with the cursor inside the element you just created. Okay, so it seems like it coded what we asked it to, but it doesn't know when to stop and keeps suggesting the same line now. Since Code Whisperer didn't even make the main content green like I asked on the comment, I'm not even going to try running it. It's already clear that the winner of this challenge is GitHub Copilot. For our next test, I have a React component of a simple counter, but the component currently only has its structure and it's missing the functionality. Let's see if the AIs can add that piece of interactivity to our component. For this test, I'll let them understand what they have to do purely based on the context, and I won't write any comments giving out directions. First being tested is Copilot. To make it edit the JSX that already exists, I'll just remove the entire line that I want to change and let the AI rewrite it. Seems like it's done, so let's test it. It works perfectly. Now it's Code Whisperer's turn. It's off to a great start by nicely suggesting the exact same code I already have. I'll see if I can help it by typing const. That way, hopefully it will understand that we want to create a state. Feels like it's struggling to come up with a suggestion. Let's type const again. It's done, let's see if it works. It does work. Even though both achieved the same result, Code Whisperer needed a bit more help and was much slower. I've increased the speed of the video so you wouldn't have to suffer as well, but you can notice how long I've waited for a suggestion if you pay attention to how fast the cursor was blinking. That being said, I'll give another point to Copilot. For our third and last test, I wanted something that was a little bit more JavaScript intensive. I've made a little page that has three pictures and uses JavaScript to get the five most common colors from the picture. It does that by drawing the picture inside a canvas element, then getting the image data, creating a pixel array from it, getting the five most common colors from the array, and using that to populate the page. It's not the best algorithm because it doesn't yet combine very similar colors, and then sometimes all five colors are almost the same, but it's good enough for this test. I've created helper functions and a comment describing the function that I want the AIs to create. Their job will be to understand the context of the file and use the correct functions to achieve the desired result. Let's start by deleting my code to make room for the AIs. The first one I'm testing here is Copilot once again. 
Copilot tends not to suggest the whole function if you don't force it to. You can open the suggestions panel by pressing Ctrl plus Enter. I'll just accept the first suggestion it gives. Looks like this would work, but let's check our page to be sure. I'll refresh the page, and yep, it still works. Now let's see what Code Whisperer can do. And here's where it got extra disappointing for Code Whisperer. No matter how long I waited and how much I tried giving it hints, it just didn't suggest the rest of the function. I ended up checking if it was really activated because it seemed to have completely stopped, but it was active, just not able to come up with a suggestion. So that's the point I gave up and decided to give the point for this task to Copilot as well. I've been a user of Copilot since its beta stage, and although they could improve a bit, especially on the speed side, it's clear that Copilot is on a whole different level when compared to Code Whisperer. Amazon's AI works okay for one-liners and smaller sections of code that aren't super dependent on the rest of the code base, but it struggles when it has to understand context. Also, I'm not sure if you could see that on the video, but sometimes Code Whisperer suggests something and then changes the suggestion right away. It seems like it's still checking possibilities under the hood, so if it finds something better, it just changes what it is presenting to the user. That sounds pretty good, but in my experience, it's quite frustrating. You see a suggestion that you want to apply, and in the split second between reading it and pressing tab, Code Whisperer changes it and you end up applying some other random suggestion. So that was it for today. Hopefully Code Whisperer will improve with time, especially now that it was released to everyone for free, it will get much more usage and can benefit from it. Copilot X is also supposed to be released to the public soon, so there's a lot of exciting things happening in the developer AI scene. As always, please consider liking and subscribing if you like the video and want to support more content like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.